Welcome to the Dr. Renee Sunday Show, where it's not too late to shine. We bring you transformative information for small business owners, entrepreneurial insight, wisdom, and secrets to aid you to be seen, be heard, and get paid, to catapult your life to more impact, success, and freedom. Now, please welcome your host, the platform builder herself, Dr. Renee Sunday. I love my intro. This is Dr. Renee Sunday, and I am the platform builder. I'm so super excited for you to be here. It may be morning, it may be afternoon, it may be even, it may be 2 a.m., okay, wherever you are. But we want to say thank you so much for joining us here live, or you may be checking us out on YouTube, iTunes, our website social media, and we just thank you for being a part of our lovely, lovely family, and we love that. So what I do is, uh, I'm a platform builder, so what I do is I help you identify your purpose if you're not aware, and then we build a platform to be seen, be heard, and guess what, do the ching ching, that means to get paid. We have to increase our visibility, and that's what I do is take that need away is you have to have visibility. I always try to stress that through having a market-winning book because a book will open up doors if you have the right strategy, okay? Also, in regards to being on podcasts, having your own podcast, or launching a magazine, or being in a magazine feature, okay, or be a featured guest on a podcast, I can go on and on. Don't forget, blogging is, is out there. Be blogging. We're doing it. Making your videos. And don't forget your kids. Kids love to be on social media. But we need to make sure that we're teaching them the good that they need to be doing on social media. Right? We need to let them know that they're beautiful and wonderfully made, that they have some greatness. They have greatness inside. And that's a task that I, I love to take on because I make sure I give you information that build me first, right? And then, of course, that I can pass it on to others. Woo, I'm so excited. But we're going to talk about I have been doing a series. If you hadn't kept up with me, please go back and look at some of the replays about really how to be a featured guest on a podcast. You know, really how you turn listeners into, guess what, customers. How do you say something that the person will contact you on social media and or your website? How do you do that? And so we actually been doing that. I do have some clients that I'm teaching, um, you know, one-on-one with that, and we have programs for that. I have a program if you want to actually launch your own podcast. We also do VIP days, so we'll cash it out. In three hours on a <laughs> the VIP, but of course you know the more access you have, the I mean, let's be honest, it's a you know more of investment. But the key is, if you like me, I love VIP days and mastermind, so I can tackle things and get it over and get to the next step. I'm sorry, that's my personality. I guess that helps me in my being a board certified anesthesiologist, you know, and all the things that I've been entrusted to, I had learned, I've learned to delegate and delegate, guess what, delegate well, that's what we got to do, but we love you here on Good Deeds, um, we actually looking for, diff- for different co-hosts uh, so they can actually share this information, share wisdom about their platform. So if you're interested in that, go to our website, ReneeSunday.com. So what we're going to do is talk about what is a podcast. Everybody's talking about it. If, ooh, if you go over to iTunes, you can find so many different categories. They have to make a new category almost every other day. And also I wanted to let you know, if you weren't aware, I'm actually, I do have uh, I'm on part of the Lexus. Uh, I actually have a small business owner um, <laughs> over there that I sent in information about small business owner of the wisdom and tips you need to do in regards to that. So we'll put that link down at the bottom so you can actually uh, get some information about that. But guess what? What is the podcast? I'm going to tell you what it is, but I'm also going to tell you, guess what, what is not. Okay, I've been doing this for a minute. I've been very blessed to be on Bishop Jake's platform. Usually when they have the big events, we're there. Also on Oprah Winter's platform, I had the awesome opportunity of interviewing Susan Orman. Ooh, it was amazing. Okay, uh, Roland Martin, and so many, many, many more. 
But let me tell you what a podcast is. This is my definition, but we really need to have that in Wikipedia, right? My definition of a podcast is a medium, you hear what I said, a medium that we share information. Now, I know that's basic. I'm going to go and tackle it a little bit more. It has to be valuable information because people will tune in, will listen to you. And most people, let me just say this quickly, most people listen to podcasts. If it's a live broadcast, and we'll dive into the different types here shortly, guess what? A lot of people listen to the replays. You say you busy, you say you need a team, just what everybody else is as well. So most of your listening or your downloads will actually be after if you're doing a live show, but most a lot of podcasts now are pre recorded. Okay? So it's a medium that you share valuable information. In my case, I love to say valuable information that people can make a wise decision because you want to take the need away of somebody else. You want to take the pain away of someone else. You want to help someone that they can move forward in this journey that we call what? That we call life. So that's what I, I made my platform. You know, we actually started our whole brand as a Good Deeds. We still Good Deeds Media Network overall, but actually this show that you're, you know, doing, watching now, listening it's Dr. Renee Sunday show. So we still have the Good Deeds magazine. We still have the Good Deeds network. But you have to be able to evolve with the signs of time and what your audience needs, okay, and what they want also, right? So a podcast, that's what a podcast. Let's dive a little bit into what types of podcasts. Hmm. There are several types of podcasts. Uh, let's start here. It's a different category, meaning people may actually talk about uh, adult issues, children issues, animal concerns. It could be an advocate, you know, patient advocate, health care, or we can go on and on how to make your first uh, business. Of course, business can both be broken down into startup, middle, and scaling. Uh, we could talk about how to build your first house, how to buy your first house, how to sell your house, how to avoid. You know, there's some out there that talk about Pacific subscription boxes, and, you know, we're actually about to, you know, we have a subscription box uh, service. If you want to know more about that, go to our website, reneesunday.com. Uh, also, ooh, I can go on and on, right, uh, about taking care of your pets, taking care of your baby. It's all of uh, them, right? But the thing about it is the key is you go back to that valuable information, right? Now, how do you decide what type of podcast you should do, what category. Well, a lot of times when I talk to people, it, it extends from the brand that you already have. But if you're doing something brand new, mm, that could be done as well. But the key is we need to sit down and have a strategy. You know, I do have complimentary 15-minute strategy at the time that I'm recording this, uh, this, this audio series. Uh, so we do that at ReneeSunday.com as well. You can take advantage of that. But you have to have a strategy. What is your vision? What do you think you see it going? Uh, what are your monetization pattern that you're going to do? A whole bunch of things. When are you going to do the broadcast? It's, you know, when, it's going to be 30 minutes. It's going to be an hour, four hours. All of that needs to be taken care of. We hold your hand throughout that whole process, and we give you suggestions based on what you have told us and confidentiality uh, of that, of course, in regards of what you can handle at that particular time. Now, I've always, just to put myself in it, you know, let you know what I do, which is always a great, uh, most people, I advise people to start with 30 minutes, especially if they have not done uh, this type of medium before, but uh, I've always done 30 minutes, but I do, you know, we tend to have podcasts, what, twice a week, and that's all that I really can do efficiently, and that's the word that we need to make sure we keep in mind, because I do so many other things, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in ministry, uh, I'm an apostle, I'm actually a publisher, I'm a best-selling author, and I'm so excited. I've actually become a best-selling author for two different books in the same week. You know, I'm not both, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing, and I I do anthologies, um, and then what else? I mean, I'm a, I call myself a transformational speaker, so the thing is, is for you to be transformed, Right? So you want to be better than you was when you first started talking to me. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. So what are you going to do with your podcast? Are you going to hopefully it will end up being a monetization strategy, meaning that it will pay for itself? I mean, a lot of people make millions of dollars on podcasts, 
But you have to start, what they, they're saying, I think it says, uh, start with humble beginnings. You have to have a strategy. You have to have a flow of what you're doing. Exactly. And the key that I love to do is always having a coach. A coach decreases you making mistakes, and they can actually share the strategies that they are using or also what they're using with their clients. So that's very important to make sure you have that. So we talked about what a podcast is. We talked about the different categories, if you will, and the different types. I want to go back to that a little bit. The different types can be, is it live? I've done live for a long time. Um, I do a combination now of live and pre-recorded. Um, and also I do a combination of me talking, like I am now with you, versus I'm having a future guest. Uh, you know, you do what's best for your vision. That's the key. And sometimes you may need help to kind of get that aired out to see what's best for your brand. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what you got to decide, all those type of things. And I, I help you with that. We have a program. Of course, I can do one-on-one, but we do have a group program that we can actually help you with that as well. And then also, don't forget, and I have to say this, uh, is branding. Oh, my God. Branding is very important. Branding and marketing. Because in order for you to actually be successful is you got to what? Be seen, be heard, and guess what? You got to get paid, right? For it to sustain itself, so you can scale it, so you can actually teach others how to start their own podcast. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? I'm really getting some great information here. Please share this with your friends, family, this link, and you can get some awesome information. Now, the other thing that I want to tackle before we end this broadcast is, you know, we talked about, again, we talked about what it is. We talked about the categories. We talked about, of course, having a strategy. Oh, wow. Having the branding, having the marketing, having uh, also having what type you're going to do. Are you going to do it live, pre-recorded, et cetera, et cetera. But also what I always want to talk about is letting people know what it is not. A podcast is not a platform for the host to really, depending on what kind of platform you have, um, you're really supposed to encourage people and motivate people. It's not a time to bash people. Uh, there are bots, podcasts out there that actually deal with a lot of controversial information, uh, but you have to be true to yourself. I always say that. Be true to yourself and also have a great strategy. And the thing is, a podcast is not if you're not going to be committed to it. You see what I'm saying? The great thing with so many platforms out there that you can pre-record it, let's say all the free conference call.com, the uh, start meeting.com. Let me see. Uh, you can actually even do it on, on YouTube. You can do it on Facebook as a private thing and then, you know, upload it to whatever platform you're using. It's the Stitcher, Linson, uh, Block Talk Radio, your own website that you're actually putting it out there. Now, I'm giving y'all a lot of information that people pay for. Amen? <laughs> but um, an anchor is an app that you can actually do it through. You can, you know, record it and actually send it out that way. It's so, and our smart device, I was just about to forget, our smart devices that we have, you can pre record you can record it there. And, of course, you can use Zoom. You can use GoToMeeting. Um, uh, go to webinar, all of those type of platforms you can pre-record it, if that's what you're doing, or even live. You can still do it live in it. But the key is you need to know how to package it. You need to have it marketable and make sure that people are excited about the information you're sharing. Um, the, but the commitment, if you're not committed, uh, please, please really think about what you're going to do with it. You know, the thing about it, I've met so many people on my publishing side that they – have started a book, and it's 10 years later they haven't finished the book because it could be several reasons, of course, but some people have met people that really wasn't out for their best interest. They may was aware of it, and maybe they wasn't. You know, make sure you be a part of your decision-making each step of the way. A lot of times people want people to do things for them. Now, that's not going to be good because you are you are the face of your brand, Right? So be in charge of yourself, but the key that most people, and I did it myself when I first started, is not having a, a, a plan, a strategy. And you've got to write that plan out, write it out, outline it. I'm still the type of person that I write things out. I know technology has afforded us that we can record it on our phone. We can get an app to map it out. Well, but still print it out. Still print it out because it's very valuable in regards of the information because 
I have to bring my medical background in. I am a board-certified anesthesiologist for 19 years now. At the time that we recorded this video, this um, series, it's very important for you to use your fingers because that stimulates hormones in your brain that you get excited about the task that you're doing. So it's very important that you, as the Bible says also, right, write it out, write the vision out and make it plain, right? So write it out and you're making it plain because you informing your brain of the signals of how you're excited about this certain task. So, yes, see what I'm, yeah, it's very important. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I wanted to do this series because a lot of people want to do a podcast, but they don't know really what it is and they don't know what it's not. Um, I do offer those services that I can help you and walk you through that. We can do a little strategy session that's complimentary at the time. Like I said, at the time that we're actually recording this, it's a complimentary 15-minute session. That can give you some wisdom and knowledge. Now, people still do radio shows. People still go in the studio, and I think that I really believe that's going to circle back because a lot of things, as you know, that we're doing uh, has, you know, we used to do in the past. So things are circling back because a lot of people are feeling that they have no connection with people. Everybody's behind a, you know, in the house, on the computer, instead of being out. People are walking down the street almost getting killed almost by because they're not paying attention on their cell phone. But it is a certain amount of people, and there are apps out there that tell you how long you've actually been on your, you know, different social media networks. So anyway, the point that I'm saying is a uh, certain part of the world, they are circling back to the things we used to do. So radio, real radio and studio, real TV that's in a studio is still is coming back. The great platforms of having the, uh, the next uh, Netflix and all those is important because it's actually giving other people a great voice. So it's giving it more diversity. You see what I'm saying? But please, please think about the things that I have talked about. During this session, you can please go to ReneeSunday.com, and we actually can sit down and, um, and, and see how this is best for you and your brand. Isn't that amazing? And one thing I want to say that I forgot to, to mention this briefly is, you know, you don't have to do the, the show by yourself. Let me say that. You can actually have different hosts every time you have a podcast. You can have a co-host. You can do that. That's important. I wanted to put that little tidbit. But the thing is, you got to make sure that you are on one accord with whoever you bring in to be a co-host. Yeah, because they need to be in the right mind of being serious about business. So, But anyway, I love you, love you, love you. Contact us at ReneeSunday.com. That's R-E-N-E-E Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. I want to let you know, this is what I want to let you know, that you do have a calling. You do have a reason you are born. You're not a mistake. I know, you're not a mistake. All of us going through some something, right? <laughs> but I want to let you know that you are wonderful and you're special, and we love you so much here at the Dr. Renee Sunday Show. And call me. if you, Mental health is real, so if you have any concerns, I am a physician as well. I can help counsel you to where you need to be. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So I want you to know that you do have a purpose, though. And we gotta what? We gotta don't stop, get it, get it. And what are we getting? We're getting our purpose and getting our purpose now. We'll see you next time. You know, this is the Dr. Renee Sunday Show. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>